Okay, okay, so we are now at Mount Blue State Park Center Hill and we're gonna we're gonna head on up in here and uh, it is now 1021 and it's 61 degrees. So let's head on in. <clears throat> Originally from the last video we were telling you that we got here at like 7:30 in the morning. And the gates didn't open until 9 a.m. And so we had to wait. So while we waited, we actually went and we hiked Mount Blue, which is about, about a mile and a half or so down the road. And that's in our other three segment videos. So we're heading up the paved road at Center Hill. And it looks like there's quite a few cars at the top here. This looks like it's going to be a another amazing Huh? Yeah, it is quite amazing. Oh wow, it looks like they have um, picnic areas. There's some tables and a couple of uh, barbecue pits. And self-guide natural trail brochures right here. So I think we will end up getting one of those if there's any in the box. And we will head over here and I think we're going to park. This is a uh, very nicely groomed by the way and we're about to see the amazing view that we have from Center Hill I mean this is just breathtaking it's uh, I'm just I'm kind of beyond words right now we're gonna get out of the vehicle and uh, I think we're gonna take a walk um, Just incredible. I mean, it's incredible. And I'm sure you can tell in some of the video footage that nature is already starting to show its colors to us. And I've just turned the car off because we can actually get out and take a walk. This is, uh, this is great, huh? I'm gonna hang my keys on my belt here. So Amy's going back in the Subaru to uh, get something, I guess. What is she getting? Oh, her phone. <laughs> so this is just, I don't know if you've been out and you've traveled a little bit and you've taken scenic drives you've you've seen sites like this i'm sure you know we look down over the over the ridge and i know that's not wilson lake i'm not quite sure the name of that body of water right there um, but there's certainly a lake down there it's just amazing isn't it, isn't it just amazing? Yeah, it's incredible. So there's some vehicles here from Maine, uh, one from New Jersey. And let's see, we'll get a little oversight here. So yeah. 400 million years in the making, it says on this plaque. 
pretty incredible. Oh, we just set the alarm in the car. <laughs> and that was the road that we came up. So we're going to go this way. And we're going to take a walk over. And it looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I just swallowed a bug. Scenic trail. Another scenic trailhead. But I think it looks a little easier than Mount Blue. And I hope I'm correct. So I'm going to go into this self-guided guiding nature trail brochures. And yes, we have, amazingly enough, one left. Center Hill. Okay, so, pretty cool. So what do you think? Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting, I know. It's, uh, it's really amazing. So we're going to take a walk up. So let's go. Let's, let's take this foot trail. And I guess you can choose whether or not you want to stay on the stones, on the rock, or if you want to... <clears throat> walk beside it which is pretty cool and this is pretty amazing so we saw our, I don't know Amy when did we see it about four or five days ago we did some research on the area and we actually saw a video from a, another couple who had visited this area, Senna Hill, and on their video was this. This amazing oh, yeah. no, lean-to. <laughs> and right now it has a picnic table in here and what looks like three-quarter benching all the way around. And you can carve your name, if you choose to, in the logs, like others have done here, all through here, to document your road trip adventure or hiking adventure or whatever you choose. This one says, Tom, Jerry, and Eli. Now that's pretty cool. So that has some significance to me because my grandfather's name is Eli. So could that be a sign? I don't know. Is he with me today? Is he with us today? So that's pretty cool. Um, that's actually a pretty cool thing that I came across that, Eli. So I, I will definitely remember this day. Right? I mean, that's I, that's yeah. just amazing, right? My grandfather's I name. he's with us. Eli, yeah. We came across that name for a reason. Almost, uh, almost chokes me up a little. Okay, so, Mom, if you see this, and uh, Dad, if you see this, uh, we found uh, Papa's name here carved in a lean-to shack um, on the trailhead heading in. Pretty amazing. Oh, and this is amazing too. It's kind of a Jesse. I have a cousin, Jesse. And there's his name carved in there. And I'm sure if I really look hard enough, I could probably find my mother's name and my father's name and probably my brother's name too. But it's just uh, pretty amazing that there are this many names carved in all these logs and I'm going to assume that it's okay. So maybe when we are ready to come down off the trailhead, um, we might just have to carve our initials in here as a little thank you to allowing us to enjoy this beautiful area. Anyway, out here, <clears throat> it looks like 
you are absolutely at one point in time allowed to have a fire and it looks like it's been a very long time since they've had one here so i'm going to assume that it's no longer in use but and if you walk over here a little trail goes to another picnic table and again the unbelievable views were we're taking in here so it's just incredible i mean what do you think it's just incredible right yes i mean this this day has turned out just wonderful perfect so okay so we are gonna head up the scenic trail and it looks like it is well a little bit of a trail <laughs> scenic trail scenic trail but it looks like the U.S. Forestry Park Service has generously worked on making it, we'll just say, a little bit easier than the, uh, than the last trail we were on over there at Mount Blue earlier today. So, okay. Well, here we go. This is more like just walking up a set of stairs versus traversing all the other stones we did this morning at Mount Blue. Okay, so I am not quite sure because I haven't opened up the brochure yet. But these are all numbered. So here's a numbered post. Number two, it states a park develops. So this must be the beginning of the amazing trail. And I found Amy in this brochure. <clears throat> I swallowed another bug, I think. <laughs> That that water source that we just looked at is called Webb Lake. It's Webb Lake. In the mountains that we have been looking at is called the Mexico Hills, Spruce Mountain, Waka Mountain, West Mountain, and Old Blue, which has nothing to do with Mount Blue. Old Blue is further across the, the valley there. And then you've got Tumble Down and looks like Elephant Mountain, Little Jackson, Jackson, and Blueberry Mountain. Well, I wonder if there's blueberry bushes on top of Blueberry Mountain. There is another trail over to my right, across the other side of the parking lot that I think we may take a look at after this. Oh, good. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna go up the trail a little bit. <coughs> Another bug. A lot of little teeny bugs out here. I guess it's that time of the season. They're all trying to survive the cold nights. So now they say this is a scenic trail, but I guess it all depends on what you consider scenic. Because right now I am just looking at the woods, the forest all around us, but we are on the trail and it sounds like we've got some young adolescent individuals coming up behind us on the trail that are a little loud, but that's okay. It's good to see that uh, families are involving their kids in learning a little bit about nature and how, uh, how it truly affects your life. So again, pretty cool. The way the uh, the roots and everything come through the soil. 
a little bit of a step. And it is pretty amazing, to say the least. Okay, this is number four. Number four, right there, okay. And again, the pretty cool path. You know, I, uh, I forgot, and well, we both forgot, actually. I didn't spray myself with any bug spray. Yeah, that's when we had on our sweatshirt. So. Yeah, so, oh well. Okay. I guess uh, we'll, uh, we'll do okay. Mm -hmm. I want to try to stay ahead of this group. As I pull up the back of my pants and we're videoing me <laughs> readjusting. <clears throat> Obviously, when you come hiking in places like this, it's highly unlikely unless you come real early in the morning. Hence, like Mount Blue a little while ago, that you're not going to run into people on the trail. So, one of the owners of the Wilson Lake Inn, uh, her name is Sue, her husband's name is Tom, we'll throw a shout out to the Wilson Lake Inn in Wilton, great place, told us <coughs> about this specific trail. In that it was a pretty simple hike with unbelievable views of the valley and she told us that from where we're about to end up that if we look in the right direction we will be able to see Wilson Lake so okay. I'm going right. to assume that Fine. where she lives here that she is quite correct. And we're trying to keep moving up the trail here. And we'll be coming up to the top. And we've got very talkable children behind us, which is okay. Because I'm very talkable. And we're going to Stop the video for a second till we get up here, and then we will reassume taping in a minute or two.